Yo, what's up, DC? Today I'm going to show you a quantum DPS loadout. So without further ado, let me get straight into this. So for the loadout, you will want to want Time Bomb, Singularity, Alcubra Wave, and Spiral Waves, Anomaly, and Temporal Vortex. You can switch Alcubra uh, Wave? I know I'm pronouncing that shit wrong. That shit hard as fuck to say. But you can switch that out with Gravity Bomb, and you can switch Temporal Vortex out with Oblivion which is a 10,000 supercharged power cost. Now, you want to spec your skill points like this. Put one skill point into your weapon because you're not going to do any type of weapon damage with this loadout. And you're going to want to spec one skill point into your movement. Well, it really depends on you if you want to get breakout mastery, but if you're doing PvP, I mean PvE, you're not going to use breakout mastery at all, really, to be honest. I don't want to use that if I'm like in PvP. And for your stat points, you want to get super powered. It's a critical attack chance and damage. Inspect all your skill points you have into might and power. I have 215. I'm working on mine still, but I have 215. And let me show you exactly how this loadout will work. So, you're going to want to use Time Bomb first because Time Bomb doesn't work until the end of the cooldown meaning when you use time bomb you won't do any type of damage at all until the end of the fucking cooldown you want to use your time bomb go into singularity a kill river wave and spiral waves now when you get to the spiral waves use that twice and go into anomaly like this like one two go into your anomaly and just go back into the rotation it's all down the line so Time bomb in the trinket. Singularity. Kill her away. Let's go down the line. That, that's all you have to do. That's literally all you have to do. And that did. 220 220k in 18 seconds now this can do way more damage it really can do way more damage but that's just as much crit as i got for right now but yeah i'm gonna show you how it will look like with the supercharge anomaly is a supercharged generator so meaning you're gonna get your fucking temporal vortex hell fast Okay, and the highest I didn't hit with Temporal Vortex is like around 50 to almost 60k. So, I would highly suggest you use Temporal Vortex because it's only a 5,000 power cost for your supercharge. So, it's like you're basically not really using shit at all. And because you're using this loadout, your supercharge is going to come back way faster than what you think you think you So exactly how you would go into this so uh, uh, one two back pop onto it again that is just like that Thank you for watching my video and please subscribe and like. Peace.